A state legislator in Louisiana has just introduced a bill that would change the name of abortion in Louisiana to feticide, as in homicide of a fetus. The bill says a woman shall be in prison for up to 15 years if she commits the crime of getting an abortion. Details on that little Louisiana treasure are posted online at mattoblog.msnbc.com right now if you want to check it out. Legislation that right wing, that radical, is being introduced so frequently in the states now, it is sometimes hard to figure out what relative weight to give each of these stories. I mean, the country gets shocked by SB 1070, by Arizona's Papers, Please law. But then afterwards, all the bills like that in other states don't really make the same ripple. In Michigan, this, this massive, radical Republican state government takeover of whole cities in Michigan and Wisconsin and Ohio and Indiana and Florida and a ton of other states, unilateral stripping of union rights by Republican state governments. As we just talked about with Florida and we talked about with Kansas earlier, uh, Republican state governments making it dramatically harder to register to vote, just dropping the hammer on there being any new voters in upcoming elections. This is not just voter ID. In Kansas, this is you can't register to vote without a passport or a birth certificate. As we'll talk about later in the show tonight, Maine, Michigan, Wisconsin, radically changing the whole idea of school. Remember school? I liked school. I liked when we all agreed that school was a good idea, frankly. State politics are astounding right now. I mean, the federal story of the last election was Republicans taking over the House in D.C. But coast to coast, the story of the last election is really what happened in this hard right turn in the states, in the state legislatures and in the governorships. Probably more than any other national news outlet, we at this show confess to being transfixed by what Republicans have been doing in the states this year. It has been an amazing year of quite radical Republican state politics. But very quietly, in the midst of all the din of what the red states are doing, blue states have been sort of happily plugging along, making absolutely no national news at all, doing stuff that goes in a completely different direction than the red states that are getting all the attention. Today in Vermont, for example, the state Senate voted 29 to 9 to create a single-payer health care system for the state. This has already passed the Vermont House. It just passed the Senate. There were different amendments in the two versions passed, so they'll need to work out a conference version between the two houses. But then single-payer health care will be on its way to Vermont's governor, who is also a Democrat and who campaigned on passing this. Vermont would create a state-based exchange as imagined under federal health reform, but at the same time, they'd also work from a plan developed by one of the architects of Medicare to create, in essence, a Medicare for all system for Vermont. It would cover everybody in the state. It would take the insurance companies out of the driver's seat. Uh, Vermont would need waivers from the federal government in order to do this. Vermont's governor told Congress a week and a half ago that he is already eager to start begging for those waivers so Vermont can go ahead. With really no other national attention other than, I mean, other than this, it kind of seems like Vermont is really doing this. I sort of feel like I should be quiet about it. We've got the governor of the great state of Vermont, Peter Shumlin, uh, joining us live in just a moment.